Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your torque today. On your very front, you're gonna have the power tongue jack with the light switch on the left, the extend and retract on the right. You got two 30 pound LP tanks, both full, regulator and dead center. You got a little uh, little switch on the top, point to the left, you use the left side tank, point it to the right, you use the right tank. The lights on the very front, our docking lights, those are controlled from inside the unit. Coming to the side, on the driver's side, you're gonna have two slides. Underneath the first slide here, you're gonna have a compartment that is prepped and ready for a generator. If you decide to get a generator, it has the fuel line, lines ran as well as the power. Right to the right here, you're gonna have your portable water to fill the tank on the unit. Right below it's gonna be outdoor shower or spray nozzle. Right below that, you're gonna have city connection. Just if you wanna use the water and the water pressure right off the hose. The bottom, the two bottom ports are gonna be the black tanks for both your bathrooms. Those are gonna clean the, the black tanks out. Make sure you're connected to the ground and your valves are open before you run water through the two bottom. Right past your axles here. On the driver's side, you're gonna have a satellite and cable input as well as your 50 amp hookup right to the right of it. Inlet for fuel, that's gonna be for your, if you decide to get a generator as well as that's gonna run the auxiliary nozzle on the other side. Coming to the back of the unit, it's just a drop down with a porch. On the side here, and the, on the passenger side, on the bottom, and the front and the rear, you're gonna have a switch like this. This is gonna be extend and retract. That's gonna be for your stabilizers underneath. One leg is gonna come down, get pressure, and then the other leg will come down. Right to the right, you're gonna have your auxiliary nozzle for your fuel. The on and off is inside. The back door accesses into the garage or bunk room. Um, in the middle, on the passenger side, you're gonna have your water heater as well as your furnace exhaust. On your right of the furnace exhaust, you're gonna have your entertainment center. Now just know your TV, your uh, your refrigerator out here is not gonna work unless you have uh, at least 30 amps. Right below, you're gonna have a pull-out grill as well as a, a sink here, hot and cold. Main door is gonna be the front door in front of the axles on the passenger side. Front switch for the stabilizers. Your front compartment here, you're gonna have your spare tire tool as well as all. <coughs> Override for the stabilizer bars, 50 to 30 amp adapter, 30 to 15 amp adapter, and a sewer hose. Battery disconnect right to the right. Around right when you walk inside your unit, you're gonna right to the left, you're gonna have your control panel. Right by the fire extinguisher. <clears throat> These are all buttons you push to hold to look at your fluids. Right to the right here, you're gonna have your water pump as well as your water heater, your propane side. The, the All the ones lit up are lights. You're gonna have aux lights. These are gonna be the white lights outside. For the porch light or awning light, you either could have one or the other. Middle is gonna be off. Cap lights could be the docking lights up in the front of the camper. And then of course your cabin lights. Right to the bottom left, you're gonna have the slide one and slide two. Slide one's gonna bring in the slide with the couch here. Slide two is gonna control the one in the bed. Awning control right to the right of it. We're gonna start from your master bedroom work our way back. Now this will be opening the second slide. The, the bed will fold over and we'll make, a, uh, make, make the bed. You got two individual lights above each side of the bed. Now on the other side of the room or in front of the camper here, you're gonna have a charging station. Um, USB charger, outlet charger, wireless charger. All in the docking station, I like to call them. Right to the right here, you're gonna have a little closet. Now the light in here, these lights are gonna be manual. They're gonna have a, just a switch on the right side. USB charger on a lot of them. That one has a USB charger also. You can also access the front bathroom from the master bedroom, or you can access it from right when you walk in the door. Um, bathroom is pretty self-explanatory. You got your uh, light switch as well as your fan controls there. Main light for your master bedroom. Walking into your kitchen, you're gonna have 
your keys around your sink. Microwave has uh, will be the best indicator if it has short power. If it's on and working, you at least have 30 amps right below. You're gonna have a stove top. The stove top, you just get it's gonna work like outdoor grill. You're gonna turn it over to the flame. Use your igniter on the left side. JBL system is going to be for your audio. That is your JBL subwoofer. The <clears throat> excuse me. The control for your subwoofer is here, right underneath. Right to the right here, you're going to have your on and off for the LEDs above. JBL audio system is going to be on the side of the counter here. You have three zones. A, B, and C, one for the sub, one for the garage, one for in the actual living quarters in the kitchen. <coughs> Lights above the couch are manual. You'll have to, there's a button in the dead center. You'll have to turn them on and off. Going into your garage, in the box here is going to be a power cord, fire, uh, fire extinguishers, TV remotes, spray nozzles. Um, right, right to the left when you walk in the door, you're gonna have a thermostat control mode. Is to turn on AC, heat, or fan. Of course, up and down temp. Um, the light switch here will control the main lights above. Bed lift control. Bed lift control is gonna bring this bed down. This bed needs to come down. You need to have the couches at a flat. You need to shift the couches so they're flat. And then at each corner, you're gonna have a pin here. Now you pull those pins and you'll use the couch to lower that bed. That bed is not on a track system, so if you have the couch down and you pull the four pins, it's going to fall and hit you in the head. Right inside the bathroom here, back bathroom, light switch on the left. That's going to complete our video. I hope this helped. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. Have a great day.